What's up, fight fans? My name is Josh Osborne. Matt McCarty. Jared McCarty. And this is our UFC 94 predictions. All right, we're back. Another solid card. Thanks to UFC 94 is going to be awesome. Really jazzed about it. First fight, we got Tiago Tavares taking on Manny Gambarian. Matt, who's going to win and why? Manny, decision, because you can take him down and lay on him. Okay, decision. Jared? I'm going to say Manny TKO because he's pretty strong. He's a strength, strong boy. He's definitely going to go down and throw the old hammer fist like he does. I'm taking him to ground and pound out uh, Tavares and take this one TKO. All right, next fight we got a doozy. We got Nate Diaz going after Clay the Carpenter Guida. Definitely uh, some title ramifications for yeah. this one. The, the winner definitely takes a huge step forward. The loser takes a giant step backward. So I see this one going one of two ways. I see Diaz via submission, or I see Clay just kind of grinding this one out, taking him down, staying out of uh, Diaz's submissions, and winning a decision. Tough call, but I got to take Nate. He's really shown the fireworks lately, and I'm taking him via submission. Matt, what's going to happen on this one? Yeah, it, there's no getting around it. He's going to submit him. I don't, you know, Clay has good takedowns, and he, he's good at overwhelming guys, but I think Diaz just, his jiu-jitsu's too good. And, you know, it, and if he really wants to stand up, I don't think Clay can keep him down. So, you know, and then if it does stand up, Diaz can, you know, he's got the long arms, so he can you know, box him. Yeah. So I'm going to give it to Diaz's submission. Nice. Yeah, it's the Caesar Gracie kids. You really got to watch that for him. Because <laughs> yeah. that really is Clay's whole game is the takedown, but you do not want to be on the ground with Diaz. He's yeah. just way too crafty. Definitely. Jared, what's going to happen? I, I agree with Matt. You know, Guida, he likes to take people down. He's going he's gonna to take, take him down somewhere in this fight. So, you know, I got, I got to say Diaz submission. Diaz submission. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We all agree. Next fight, we got Caro the Heat Parisian mm -hmm. taking on Dong Hyun Kim. Now, there's a little backstory about this one. We've been discussing this fight in detail, and Caro Parisian is a hated man in the McCarty household. They both despise the guy. Is yeah. that correct? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Okay, now I have nothing against him. I really don't like him. He's a little too crazy for my, for my taste, but here's the deal. If Kim wins the fight, I'm going to shave a huge section of my beard off right here, so i got some crazy chops going on. All the girls are going to laugh at me. Now, <laughs> if Carl wins, Matt is going to do the same thing with his beard. He's going to shave a huge section off. And he's got like a Rob Zombie thing going on. So it's a pretty big commitment. Me, I keep it kind of short. Matt's got the, the bulk going on. Yeah. So he will shave a huge patch right in the middle. Look very awkward. <laughs> now, Jared, he's picking Kim as well. We'll, we'll discuss how in a minute. But if, uh, if Carl wins, He's going to do the whole, like, mullet thing, right? Miguel Torres. Miguel Torres. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> Miguel Torres, he looks cool with it. I want something, like, yeah, really cool. Yeah, the girls cool. are still going to love me. Oh, that's going to work? <laughs> so, yeah, this, all gone. And we were going to give you the proof on the next video, so you can uh, definitely see that it all went down. So, again, I'm taking Carl. He's going to take down Kim. He's going to pound him out, probably get him down with one of his sick judo throws. Matt, how do you got Kim winning? A uh, decision, I think, is better at judo and he is stronger in the mind department. Okay, Jared, what do you got? I'm just going to say I want Carl to get knocked out, so I'm going to say KO. KO, nice. You heard it here and definitely check back for the results on this one. All right, moving right along, we got Leoto Machida taking on Tiago Silva. Yes. All right, let's start this one off a little bit differently. Guys, Machida Elusive or boring fighter? Matt, go. Do I have to pick one? Okay, well explain yourself then if you're going to pick both. He's very elusive, but it can be boring at times. Sure. What were we just saying before we started filming this? That if Machida loses this fight, his next fight is going to be a, a preliminary? Yeah, yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's not even going to be aired. Yeah, it won't even make TV time. No. So, same question, Jared. Elusive or boring? Same answer. Uh, he's pretty elusive, but it makes for a boring fight, you know? Yeah, I got a groovy there. So we're, we're giving his respect because he is like that karate type of guy. Yeah. So he's trained to be elusive. In fact, you actually said that if Bruce Lee were in the UFC, he would I fight the same way. I think he fought, fight very similar. Very okay. Similar. All right. So moving right along then, what's going to happen in this fight? Who are you taking? We got uh, two guys that are 13-0. and 0. One of them's going to lose. So, you know, mm. who's taking it? Uh, Machida's going to take it. He's used to fighting aggressive guys, guys that are coming at him. That's his whole thing is he, he fights those guys and he wins. I'm going to give it to Machida's decision. Machida, Jared. 
You know, I'm pretty sure both of you guys are taking Machida. So I'm going to say Silva. Submission. Ooh. Submission. Nice. <laughs> well, you know what? I got to agree with you. This was a pretty hard choice. You know, a lot of people are going to go with Machida, like myself, uh, <laughs> decision. But, you know, this guy is 13-0. It's not like he's, you know, knocked out a bunch of chumps. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, he definitely deserves his spot. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely. definitely. So, again, Machida, Silva, Machida. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, it is that time again. It is time for the main event, and what a freaking amazing main event this one is. Yeah. Uh, sponsored in part by New Breed. Check it out, uh, our new threads. Thank you guys very much. We appreciate the gear. You want to get some for yourself, you want to check out newbreedgear.com. Go online right now, order some, tell them Osborne and McCarty sent you. Okay, wow. BJ Penn, GSP. Yes. Amazing matchup. These guys have already fought once before, and I hear a lot of people saying that they thought it was a boring fight. I disagree 100 million percent. I thought it was a great <laughs> fight. You didn't, really didn't know who was going to win that. Uh, yeah, great matchup, and you know, I understand how important this is to a lot of people because BJ Penn and GSP are huge fan favorites. I didn't want to screw yeah. this up, so I'm like, man, I'm going to like, do a ton of research. So I was online for like two hours last night trying to figure out the pros and cons. Here's what I got. Here's my notes. This is going to be an amazing fight. That's all I wrote down, right there. That's all I got. This is tough. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's been said about both these guys, and you know, you really can't agree or disagree until you see these guys again, because I really think they've improved as fighters since the last fight. Definitely. Nobody's going to disagree with Definitely. that one. So Matt, uh, GSP, BJ Penn, they're both title holders in their division, yep. both at their, their primes right now. Yep. What is it going to take for BJ to get that extra edge over GSP? He's going to have to hit him early. I mean, it's just, you know, his cardio is better, but it's, you know, it's not St. Pierre cardio. You know, he's, he's got a good jab. He's got heavy hands. He's got a good uppercut in the clinch. He's got great jujitsu. His takedowns are, you know, I don't even think he tries them. You know, so, you know, he's going to have to hit him early. So go early. Yeah, he's definitely, he's just going to so have to nail him. You think cardio might be an issue? Definitely, 100%. Okay, GSP, what's he got to do to get that edge? Anything, no. Uh, <laughs> Anything he, he does will be amazing. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little He biased. will send from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, kicks, I think kicks are a huge part of that. You know, he doesn't have to worry about the takedown, like I was just saying. BJ doesn't even really try takedowns. He might scoop the leg, but I, you know, St. Pierre's got better conditioning, he's stronger. So lots of kicks, you know, leg kicks will set up a head kick, will set up Superman punches. Uh, and honestly, I think St. Pierre can win this on top of BJ. I think he can take BJ down. I think he's strong enough to stay out of submissions. And I think, you know, he's, he's good enough at jujitsu to see things coming. He's not dumb. So, I'm going to give it to St. Pierre. TKO, ground and pound. Well put, Matt. Well put. Okay, Jared, while this fight is standing, who do you give the edge to? You know, I'm going to probably say BJ at the, in the early rounds. You know, he's pretty, he comes out pretty fast, but, you know, in the later rounds, GSP, he's got the cardio on him, I guarantee it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's going to be some fireworks in the early rounds, though. Nice. Okay, so hits the ground. Who's got the edge? Now, on the ground, I think GSP is quite a bit faster than BJ. You know, I think uh, off his back, BJ, he's pretty tricky, pretty crafty, but... Uh, GSP, I think he's going to be too fast to stay out of those submissions and stuff, so. This is crazy, man, because, like, <laughs> these guys are going to come up with a freaking amazing game plan, but we have no idea what it is because yeah. they're so good at pretty much super everything. Fight. Super yeah, fight. Yeah, it really is. This is definitely fight. classifies as a super fight. Uh, so who are you picking? I'm going to say GSP. You nut huggers. <laughs> Just take everything they said with a grain of salt because they worship this guy. Yeah. So, okay. Wow, that's a lot to, to take in there. Um, Really, after all the research I've done, I think this comes down to BJ's cardio. I know yeah. that might sound just like you know, a token answer to throw out there, but I really think BJ is going to do well if he comes out early, like he did with Shirk, and just start throwing quickly. And maybe when he catches GSP off guard, then go for the takedown right into side control or some dominant position where he can do something to GSP. The longer it goes, you know, the fourth and fifth rounds, man, GSP has already proven with his fight against Fitch that he's got the cardio, man. He can last in those fourth and fifth rounds and be as dominant as he was in the early rounds. So it's definitely going to be tough, but I'm going to balance out this, this GSP nut-hugging <laughs> session we got going here. I'm taking BJ Penn via TKO. All 
All right, that wraps it up for this one. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. And uh, we really appreciate the support that you guys have shown us. We really enjoy making these videos. And when you guys write us and tell us how much you like it, it really means a lot. So thank you for that. And thank you for all the kind letters to Matt congratulating him on little Liam. He's a cute kid. We'll try to get him on one of these videos soon. Uh, if you like what you see and you want to stay in touch, uh, definitely click the subscribe button in the corner. And uh, we will definitely keep you up to date and send you uh, links to our videos whenever we do uh, another UFC topic or prediction show. But that is it for us, guys. I'm Josh Osborne. Matt McCarty. Jared McCarty. And we will catch you on the flip side. Later.